It's just about time for football once again. EA Sports is proud to bring you this exciting NFL broadcast. Now we'll head over to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the start of the game. Guys? We won't have to worry about weather conditions as we get ready for the game. Hello, everyone. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth here. Here's the opening kick. So far, Chris, a lot of the season has gone as we expected, but there have been a few surprises. I have to tell you, I've gotten to the point where surprises don't surprise me as much as they used to, you know, because everybody has a thought in preseason which teams are going to be good and which teams are going to be bad. And every single year, somebody comes off the bottom to the top and from the top to the bottom. He's dropped at the 31. Barber gains around six yards on the draw play right there. So second down now. The offense needs about four for the first. Looks down the field. Knocked away. What an effort out there. He just got his hands in there and broke it up. I love watching the closing speed of this defense. When they see the ball, they go get it. Romo lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. Delayed handoff. And they didn't get it. So they tried to push it ahead, but the defense stopped them short first down. Looked like one of those old-fashioned rugby scrums there. A lot of big bodies piled together and nowhere for the running back to go. McBriar will punt it, and he absolutely boomed it. Fielded at the 19. He's brought down around the 24-yard line. Seems like the coverage broke down a bit on that one. I thought they had him pretty well contained on that play, but he did find a small crack in the coverage, got it up the field. They were lucky they got hold of him. He could have broken that one off. Here's the halfback. Cuts back, and he's dropped. James gets about a yard on the play. Arizona goes with the ace set here. James on the run. He didn't get back to the line. A great defensive effort there. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Looks to pass. Throws the bullet to the right. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. He looks to throw on first down. Rifles this one out to the left. Bolden was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. They line up in an eye. He fakes it. Throws out right. Comes down with it. Brought down at the 47-yard line. The defense didn't have a chance on that one. Great throw. Yeah, really not much a defense can do when you get a guy that can throw the football like that. You know, you get yourselves in position defensively. You think you're in the right spot. You're going to make a play. And a guy makes a throw like that. And you go, hey, that's a good throw. Fourth down. Looks like they're going to put it away here. Johnson awaits the snap. Gets it away cleanly. From the 15. Tackle at the 24-yard line. They could do nothing against this defense on their previous drive. Single set backfield. Drops back to pass. Rockets it. Pass completed. And they get him at the 37. He made the right read on that pass. Nice play that time by the quarterback. You know, we talk about progressions and going from one receiver to the next, but this quarterback is doing a great job in the pre-snap read, knowing who the first guy will be and getting him the football. On the ground with a tailback. Brought down at the 43-yard line. Barber gets six yards on the play. They line up at the 43. Romo steps to the line of scrimmage. Eye formation behind him. He'll get it again. Hit and drop behind the line. One yard loss to the halfback. Boy, a shot like that. Not only does it play well on television today, but tomorrow in that defensive film room, it's going to be even better. 
Drops back. Fires it out. Tackle at the 50. And that will be enough for the first down. You know, it really wasn't a horrible call that time by the defense. But anytime you have to try and stop an offense like this in those medium yardage situations, you really have to come up in the coverage. And he's hammered at the 44-yard line. Barber gains around six yards on the draw play right there. Second and four now. Ball on the 44-yard line. Out of the eye formation. Looks to pass. Throws the bullet to the left. In and out of his hand. That last play didn't get them the first, and now they're looking at third down. Third down once again. Let's see if they can convert this one. Ace backfield this time. On play action. Passes the ball. Picked off. And he's drilled at the 35. Great catch by the linebacker. Not a smart throw from the quarterback. You know, it's hard to believe that you can lose a guy that big, but sometimes those linebackers dropping underneath in coverage, quarterbacks just don't see him, and he threw it right to him. He fakes it under heavy pressure. He took a shot at the 30. It seems these days being a defensive end isn't just all about trying to run your blocker over to get to the quarterback. Yeah, you see more and more of these guys that are a little undersized for defensive linemen, but they make up for that size and bulk with great speed and agility. If they can turn the corner, they can really make a difference in a game. The Cowboys has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Drops back. Short throw to the right. Out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. The Cardinals are lining up to punt this one away. Gets it away cleanly. Newman fields it at the 26. He got deep cleaned. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team. Throwing another one could be disastrous to this offense. They line up in the shotgun, three wide. He's brought down at the 43-yard line, so a gain of about one. That brings up second down. The backfield is in the offset eye formation. Sets up the play action. The defense has him surrounded. Oh, and he dropped it. Barbert was the intended receiver on the play, and it falls incomplete. They line up at the 43. Romo comes to the line, three wide formation. Romo sends a guy in motion to the right. Romo drops back to pass. Throws Weil on the run. Tight coverage, and it's picked off. They'll get in for the touchdown. Great play by the defender. He was able to take it for six. You know, some defensive players, you don't want to throw it in their zone because it might get intercepted. Some guys, you absolutely don't want to throw it there because they can turn it into a touchdown going the other way. Here's the point after. Up and good. Arizona up seven points. Here's the kick. Dropped at the 28-yard line. Quarterback threw a pick on their last drive. Let's see if he's able to shake it off. Dallas lines up in the offset eye this time. Here's the halfback. Brought down at the 48-yard line. And that was a nice job to pick up the first down. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. Tackle at the 44-yard line. Barber picks up about four yards on the play. 
from the 44-yard line. Dallas is going with the offset eye backfield. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Single set backfield. All kinds of pressure. Green gets the interception. That's three interceptions now for this quarterback already today. You know, we always talk about this quarterback being a gunslinger, but he needs to check the scope on that gun out there. Right now, he's a little off target. First and 10, ball on the 28-yard line. Arizona comes out with three receivers and a single back formation. It's the tailback. He's tackled at the 21. James picks up about seven yards there after getting the ball in the misdirection. Arizona comes out with two tight ends. Liner hands it off straight ahead. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. And with that run, the defense just gave up the first down. And for a defense in those short yardage situations, more often than not, you're going to give up the first down, but you certainly don't want to allow them to break out the big one. He throws left. Drops the easy pick. The defender got there in time to break that play up. He did. He was able to get his hands on the ball, but if he had missed that one, that one might have turned into a really big play. Another run. He's hammered in the backfield. He was caught with nowhere to go. This is a pretty good running back, and if you can hem him up like that, pretty impressive. Third down, 11 yards to the first. Ball on the 18-yard line. He drops back to pass. Makes the throw over the middle. They bring him down, and it's first and goal. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did, and when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. They tackle him for a loss. Nothing doing on that play, so that'll make it second down. Six more yards for the score. Arizona comes out with two tight ends. Back to throw. The pocket is collapsing. Williams bats it away. Fitzgerald wasn't able to bring it in. Incomplete pass on the play. Third and goal situation here. The ball six yards out. Arizona comes out with an I formation. They go with the toss. Into the end zone for a touchdown. So they get it in on the ground. And that sure helps your passing game down the road on the goal line. If you can run a couple in, they can't just sit back in coverage now the next time you get down in the red zone. They're lining it up for the point after. Extra point is good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. Kicks this one deep. Goes out of bounds at the 20-yard line. The quarterback leads his offense back onto the field after turning it over on their last drive. Barbert lines up as the deep back. I formation. They're going to pitch it. Tackle at the 20. Not much there. That'll bring up second down. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Dallas goes with the ace set here. Here's the give. He makes his way to about the 28. Nice job of the running back. That'll give him seven, maybe eight yards. Dallas lines up in the offset eye this time. On play action. With the catch. And they get him at the 43-yard line. 
Talk about a throw. Yeah, you don't have to worry about one like that being intercepted. Nobody on the defensive side could have caught that bullet. High formation here. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Inside the 30. Finally brought down at the 25-yard line. And he broke that one for a huge game. What a run that was. I really thought he might be gone there, but they were finally able to chase him down. The halfback with the carry. Brought down behind the line. Tried to run, but there was nothing available. And if you could make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole, and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Catch is made. He's brought down at about the 19-yard line. Owens caught that one for a gain of seven. We played a quarter. The score is 14-0. That brings up another third down attempt. Jones, the lone back. Looks to pass. Huge pressure by the defense. They bring him down, and it's first and goal. Terrell Owens is one of those guys you almost have to see him to believe him. When I watch him warm up down on the field, it is just like watching some superhuman out running around. He's big, he's strong, he's fast. And he really doesn't care what the opposing fans think about him. He is a show unto himself. Two, two and a half yards from the goal line now. The Cowboys line up with two tight ends. He's tackled around the one-yard line. Two-yard pickup. That'll bring up third down. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. They'll give it off here. Touchdown. How about that little juke in the middle of that move? That's just a one-on-one -on -one athletic play that time. That was fun to watch. They come on the field to attempt the extra point. Point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. Excellent kick here. Arrington fields it at the one. Drill at the 25. The offense lines up and is looking to score again after a successful trip to the end zone on their last drive. Single back formation. Liner gives it left. makes his way to about the 38. They need to come up with a better game plan to stop this guy. Yeah, you're not kidding. They can't keep giving up those big chunks of yardage like that. They do. It's going to be awfully tough to stop this offense. James on the handoff. He gets to about the 47-yard line. James gets eight yards on the play. It's second and two. Ball on the 47. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Fakes to the back. Looks for a man open. It's incomplete. James was the intended receiver, and he can't bring it in. Third down. They'll go from the I formation. He fakes it. Gets the throw off. Brought down at the 44-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with the wideout. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Throws into coverage, and it's intercepted. Why did he even make that pass? Yeah, Tom, I think he got baited into that throw. He thought the defensive back was going elsewhere. He did a little fake. Came back in, made the pick, just a real heads up play. Romo hands off to the left. And they get him at the 41 yard line. The ball carrier gives them six yards on the ground. Second down now, four yards to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. Rifles it out there. 
Pass is off target. They can't hook up on the pass. Now the offense will be facing third down. Jones lines up as the deep back. High formation. They'll give it off here. Tackle at the 42. And they can't get anything on the ground. Big run stop that time by the defense, bringing up fourth down. Tremendous play. McBriar is the punter. They get this one off, and it's a great kick. He brings it in at the 14. He's tackled at the 33. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback reacts after throwing an interception on his last drive. Single set backfield. Leinert looking to throw on first down. Brings this one in. And the defense just ate that one up, Chris. Yeah, you're not going to fool this defense on plays like that very much. At least he got the ball out of there, though. Looks to pass. Looking for a receiver. Gets the throw away. What a shot. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. Arizona is going with the offset eye backfield. Fakes to the back. Guns it right. Out of bounds, incomplete. Pope was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. From their own 46-yard line. Shotgun formation. He's looking to throw. Defense closing in. Pass is complete. And he made a great open field tackle. They pick up solid yardage there. And I love to watch this wide receiver work. He is so patient with his routes. He gets down low into his cuts. And he really understands what the defense is trying to do to take him away. And he is working them over. And he goes down. And they couldn't have asked for better timing on the sack. The quarterback's going to have to start changing up his snap count a little bit because right now we're seeing this defensive line getting off the ball faster than the offensive line. If he doesn't start changing it up, it's going to be a tough afternoon for him. And they get him at the 36-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play. Yeah, really a nice route that time. One of the keys to playing wide receiver is the ability to not only get into cuts, but to get out of the cuts. That time, very explosive coming out of that cut, and it made the difference. He lost yardage on the play. Tried to find something, but there wasn't anything there for him. Yeah, not anything at all. And as a running back, you're probably going back to the huddle going, uh, guys, a uh, little help, please. He punts it. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The offense takes the field, and we'll see if they can put something together after their last drive ended with a three and out. Gets the pass away, and he's out of bounds, incomplete. It looked like he tried to drag his feet as he was going out, but he couldn't get him down. You know, and sometimes that happens. The quarterback put it in a spot where only he could catch it. The problem was the ball was just a little off target. They tested the perimeter, but nothing to it. When you have a great athlete at the running back position, the temptation is to toss him the ball, get him out in space, and let him try and break a tackle. That time, the space thing didn't work out so well. Makes the catch. He's dropped up to 21, and that reception won't be enough to move the chain. Well, you really can't ask any more out of a defense on that one. They kept the play in front of them, came up and made the tackle. Good play, and they're off the field. They get this one off, and it's a great kick. Tackle at the 45. It looked for a moment that he might take that one all the way back. Boy, that was a close one for the coverage team. They were able to wrap him up before he broke it open, but... He is on the brink. This coverage team is going to have to start playing with a little more intensity, a little more heart, or they're going to give up a big one. Gain of four on the pass. Only gained about four yards on that play, but sometimes as an offense, as long as it's not a negative play, it's a positive play. Drops back to pass. Dumps it out left. Brought down at about the 45-yard line. They gained five on the play. He'll take plays like that all day long. Arizona is going with the offset eye backfield. Makes the throw out to his left. He's dropped right around the 34-yard line. 
a good play to the tight end that time. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to their right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. And not a whole lot of yardage gained on that one, Chris. And that's one of those plays where you leave it up to the receiver to make yardage after the catch is made. When he can't find his way into open space, you'll see plays like that. There's a play fake. Short throw to the left. And he's out around the 37-yard line. They'll lose about four on that play. You got to give the defense a lot of credit on that one. They made a little correction at the line of scrimmage, and they had that play pegged right from the start. He's looking to throw. Throws on the run. And he's knocked out at the 21. So they get a first down on the play, and that was a very nice catch. If you have receivers that can make catches like that, it is just almost impossible to defend. As a quarterback, you just throw it to the open spot and know that guy can go get it. What a play. Fakes to the back. And he caught it. He steps out at the 23-yard line. And they'll lose a yard on the play. He did a great job of keeping containment there. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that one. Leinert has completed every pass on this drive. Scrambles left. It's incomplete. He can't come down with the ball. It'll sail out of the back of the end zone. You know, as a receiver, especially in the end zone, I love those high balls where you had a chance to go up and make a play, but that was a little too high. Leinert looking to throw. He throws on the run. Brought down at the 15. The third down pass got them good yardage, but not quite enough to convert. Yeah, that was a tough third down situation. They got the good completion, a good gain on the play, but probably asking too much out of the receiver to try and break that many tackles to pick up that first down. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And he gets brought down hard. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. Romo is under center. Only one in the backfield this time. It's the tailback. Makes a cut. And he will be hit and dropped. The offensive line didn't get much of a push on that play. And the runner was stuffed. Well, that's what happens when defensively you get every gap covered. There is simply nowhere to go with the football. No chance for the running back that time. What an open field tackle. They go with the draw to the fullback, and it'll give them nine, maybe ten yards. Third down and two to go. Ball on the 32. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Two minutes to go in the half. He'll get the call again. And they get him at the 34-yard line. They had a tough time stopping them on short yardage. Yeah, they stacked the line of scrimmage pretty well on that one, but just not able to stop them short of the first down markers. Looking to throw. Looks down the field. Past the line. Tackle at the 39-yard line. He scrambles and picks up five. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Sees something and changes the play. He drops back. Guns it left. There for the reception. Knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. There's just something magical about Tony Romo. There really is. When you talk to him, he has that smile on his face, and he looks like, oh, shucks, and I can't believe this is happening to me. But week in and week out, he makes huge plays in the ball game, and he is a tremendous leader. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. Romo is in the shotgun. He has three receivers. Back to pass. Throws out to the left. Makes the reception. He gets knocked out of bounds around the 32-yard line. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. Barber gets the call again. 
and they get him at the 27-yard line. Barber comes away with around five yards on the delayed handoff. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. The Cowboys come out in a two tight end set. Drops back to pass with the pass and it's caught. He's pushed out at about the nine yard line. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. It's one of the dangers you bring those extra defenders trying to get after the quarterback and you're going to leave some man coverage on the outside. That time the quarterback able to take advantage. Passes to the end zone. Lack of concentration as it bounces away. That was a crushing blow by the defender to knock the ball loose and prevent the touchdown. And the timing of that hit was so perfect. Just as the ball got there, he delivered the blow and knocked it out of there. Barber gets it on the inside. And he dropped him in the open field. And the halfback has nowhere to go. Romo lines up under center. Three receivers are split out wide. End zone gets in for the touchdown. Tight end scored that time and with a four. If you get those big tight ends moving vertically down the field, they can be really intimidating for defensive backs. Good pitch and catch there. Point after is good. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. He's still going. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. And they take the field again, looking to capitalize on their previous drive, which resulted in a field goal. They'll throw on first down. Passes to his left. Brought down at the 31. That's a seven-yard gain. They'll need about three yards here on second down. The offense lines this one up in shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. Throws it out. He goes up high for the catch. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. Drops back on first down. He throws it. He makes another catch. And they get him at the 43-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. Always thought tight ends were sort of like pacifiers for babies, you know? Just about the time that you need a little security blanket, you know where to go. He looks to throw on first down. Makes the throw up the middle. He's dropped at the 33. They complete the pass for a gain of 10 on the slant. From the 33-yard line. The Cardinals take a timeout, and now they have no timeouts remaining. Kick is up, and he got all of this one right down the middle. What an excellent kick. I don't know about you, but I was getting ready to question the coach's decision on that one, giving him an opportunity from that distance. But boy, did he ever make that coach look smart there. And here's the kick. It appears that we have a flag on the play. And this one looks like it's going to come back. Holding by the receiving team. The penalty is declined. They'll take over at the 19-yard line. Barbert is the single setback. They hand it off. Brought down at the 23-yard line. And as we head to halftime, score is 20 to 14. Good distance on the kick. Drill at the 25. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Scans the field. Can't stay in bounds. Incomplete pass. 
They went with a sideline pass, but he couldn't stay in bounds. And that would have been a spectacular catch if he'd been able to come up with that one, just thrown a little bit too far outside. Give to the tailback. He doesn't get back to the line. He couldn't get anywhere on that one. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. Leinert is in the shotgun. He has three receivers split out wide. Puts it up there. Looking deep to the right. Tipped it away. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. He gets it away. Newman fields it at the 34. Tackled around the 47-yard line. They gave up way too many yards on the return there, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, without a doubt. As part of the coverage team now, you've got to free yourself from that blocker as quickly as possible. And if you can't do that, you're going to give up some big returns. Drops back. He's under pressure. There for the catch. Goes out of bounds at the 49-yard line. About four yards on that play. Good job by the offense that time. Really nothing there down the field. He just takes a little completion and keeps moving the ball. Big set this time with two tight ends. He's looking to throw. Throws left. Oh, that's just sloppy. What a play by the defender. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. The Cowboys line up in the gun. Three wide receivers are split out. It's the tailback. He's dropped at the 46-yard line. That play was stuffed from the get-go. And it's not very often that I get really excited about defensive line play, but that time, the guys up front on defense were just overpowering. McBriar kicks it away, and did he ever get a hold of this one? Into the end zone for a touchback. The offense takes the field, hoping to put something together after their last drive ended in a three and out. On the run, he throws it, and they get him at the 25. Short pattern results in a completion for the offense. You know, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short, intermediate routes, and that begins to open everything else up. The defender gets him to the ground. Personal foul, face mask, defense. And so the defense gives up some yards after the flag. And I know this is a game of emotion, and if you're not emotional on the football field, you're going to get beat anyway, but you can't let your emotions get away from you. Dumps it out left. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. Smith gains a handful of yards on that reception. So that'll make it second down. Liner back in the shotgun for this one. Back to pass. Gets the pass off. And this one might be on the defender. Here's the call. Pass interference. The defense can't keep giving up yards on penalties like this. Yeah, it's hard enough in the game today with the rule changes to help the offense to stop an offense anyway, but you can't give away yards. Play fake. Goes through his read. It's incomplete. The quarterback led the receiver just a little too much. Yeah, he put a little too much on that pass and forced the receiver to make the catch out of bounds. Drops back. Throws it short. Fails to connect with the pass. James was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. They line up at the 42. The defense lines up in the nickel. Arizona sends a man in motion to the right. Liner takes it back. Throws while on the run. Tackle right around the 20-yard line. And a nice pass to the tight end. So much of the game today revolves around those substitution packages, trying to bring extra defensive backs on the field to try and help against the pass. But when you have a big receiving tight end, that really makes that plan awfully tough to execute. It's there for the catch. 
They finally bring him down, and it's first and goal. That one worked pretty well. It sure did, and I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. James gets the call again. And they get him at about the three-yard line. That's four yards on the play, and that will bring up second down. Leinert lines up under center. Three receivers are split out wide. Passes to the end zone. He's in. Touchdown. Nice play call on that one to get the ball in the receiver's hand. Well, this quarterback isn't always perfect, but when he gets hot, he can make throws like that into small spots that are so impressive. And the point after is good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. And here's the kick. Drop at the 27. The defense played exceptionally well the last time this offense had the ball. They'll take over at the 27-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Pause. Huge hit at the 24. They lose three yards there. That brings up second down. Second and 13. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Cowboys line up with an offset eye backfield. Romo will look to pass. Throws out left. He's dropped around the 44-yard line. Great time for that type of pass. It worked to perfection. And that was a nice job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback enough time to survey the field and find the open guy. Barber takes the give. Brought down at the 46-yard line. Barber comes away with two yards on the carry. They line up at the 46. Barber alone in the backfield. Defense is getting pressure. Hit hard at the 47-yard line. Pretty nice throw on that play. And a pretty good catch on the other end, too. That's one of those plays that's quickly becoming one of the staples in this offensive passing attack. Throws left. It's completed. And they get him at the 27. No question one of the truly elite receivers in the game. Terrell Owens has skill sets that just set him apart. His size, his speed. And I think his speed is actually a little underrated because he's a bigger guy. He may not get started as quickly, but when you see him accelerate, when he goes from almost full speed to full speed, he goes by people. Second down, Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 27. One man backfield. They give it to the tailback. He's dropped at the 22. They get around five yards from the halfback. Two tight end formation this time. Fakes to the back. Rifles it to the middle. They bring him down, and it's first and goal. You know, a couple of things that really impressed me about Tony Roma. One is his accuracy, and that's always underrated. But the second thing is his quick release. We went back and timed his release and compared it to some of the greatest quarterbacks that ever played the game. And his release is as fast, if not faster, than any of them. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Hit and drop behind the line. The offense had a tough time picking up all their blocks on that play. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense's big men, they won the battle. And the pass is knocked away. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. And he makes it. Pretty good kick that time, and he drives it home for three points. Nice job. Kicks it off. From his own goal line. Big hit there to bring him down. 
carried along by their dominant vertical game, they were able to put one in the end zone on their last drive. The Cardinals line up with an offset eye backfield. Liner gives it up the middle. Tackle around the 39-yard line. After that run, they might want to give him the ball a few more times. I agree. It looks like the defense is a little tired out there. Whatever the case, they're having a tough time now stopping the run. Throws it short. He's there for the catch. He's pushed out at the 42. Not much of a gain at all on that completion. What happened on that one? Well, I think the offense really just trying to make a safe throw rather than taking a big chance and throwing it down the field. You get the ball in the hands of your receiver and let him try and make a play. That time, nothing there. And they're coming after him. Completed. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Larry Fitzgerald is really just so smooth, an excellent route runner, a great competitor for the football, doesn't mind playing in traffic, quick in and out of his breaks. There isn't a general manager in the NFL that wouldn't love to have this guy on their team. And he's deep cleated at the 43-yard line. A pickup of five. That'll bring up second down. Two tight end formation this time. They'll give it off here. He's brought down at the 41-yard line. James gains about two yards on the run. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 41. They line up in a one-back set. Here's the give. He's dropped for a loss. Nice stop on that one. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive. The pursuit to the ball, they were all coming there. Johnson is set back, ready to punt. He'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner. Johnson punts it, and he really got a leg into this one. The ball will go into the end zone for a touchback. The offense was only able to muster a field goal on their last drive. We'll see what they do with this possession. They line up with one running back in the backfield, 3-1. They give it to the tailback. He's hammered in the backfield. No one picked up the linebacker, and it cost them. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Drop behind the line, and they were not able to get much there. And so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticize because they don't try to run the football enough. But when you get stuffed in the backfield like that, you understand why they would rather call the pass play. And it's knocked down. That incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Chris, that was a pretty nice defensive stand. Really nice defensive stand. It just seemed that the defensive coordinator was inside the offensive play caller's mind that time. They get this one off, and it's a great kick. He tries to spin, and he is dropped. They were forced to punt on their last drive. They'll set up shop at the 49-yard line. First and 10. One-man backfield. He drops back. He rolls right. And he catches it. And they get him at the 42. And another connection that goes for good yarding. And we really see the trust that is developing between this receiver and the quarterback. That if the quarterback has confidence that you're going to be where he thinks you're going to be, he will throw it to you more often than he'll throw it to somebody else. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. Short pass to his left. Tackled at the 37. And they go to the air to pick up the first. And that's one of the big differences in the game today. The fact that those third and short situations are basically passing downs now instead of runs. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Didn't get much. And that will bring up second down. Arizona lines up with three receivers in the shotgun formation. Liner with the give. 
Brought down at the 34-yard line. That's a three-yard game. Man, oh man, that's what those defensive guys live for right there. A shot like that, and then they always get up and have a little something to say to you as you're going back to the huddle. So, at the end of three, the score is 27-17. Liner lines up in the shotgun. Three wide formation. No. Three, no. Play fake. Surveys the field. And they get him there for the sack. Boy, you talk about taking a big hit. Boy, oh boy, he's got to be feeling that one right now. That is one nasty shot. And honestly, I, I think people are surprised just to see him get up. Punts it. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. Dallas is going with the offset eye backfield. Fullback straight ahead. He's dropped at the 22-yard line. Two-yard gain. That brings up second down. Romo is in the shotgun. Three receivers split out. He's looking to throw. And it's completed. Knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Just a short, efficient throw that time. Yeah, a true sign of patience on the offensive side. You let the play develop. You find uh, the open receiver. Maybe he takes a look down the field. It's not there. Just go ahead and take that safe throw. Short throw to the right. Makes the grab. Inside the 30. To the 10. Makes a move, and he's in. Touchdown! A lot of people have really been surprised by the play of Tony Romo. But NFL quarterbacks who have the ability to buy a little time, to make somebody miss, to move around just a little in that pocket, can create some really big plays for their receivers down the field, and nobody does that better than Tony Romo. Big kick here. This will make it a three-point game. Up and good. More than nine minutes left here in the fourth quarter. And the score, the Cardinals 27, the Cowboys 24. Kicks this one deep. Drop at the 25. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Leinert hands it off straight ahead. He's brought down at the 27-yard line. Gain of two. As a quarterback, you really want to make that pre-snap read, and it's kind of hard to not see the middle linebacker. He came on the blitz that time, and sometimes you just need to get out of a play like that. With the hard throw out to his left. He's tackled at the 45. There was a defender right in his face that time. But that's why you do all those concentration drills as a receiver. You know you're going to catch it in a crowd. And as we always say, you're going to get hit anyway. You might as well catch it. Little handoff. Tackle at about the 45-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 46. The Cardinals come out in a single back formation. He needs to get rid of it. Looks like the official got someone for interference. Now we'll see which way they call it. Oh, no, no. Interference. Defense. This one goes First against down. the defender. Yeah, and I can't really blame the defender in that situation. He's trying to go for the ball. The offensive guy makes a little move for the ball. He ends up running through him. It just happens sometimes. And they'll run him again. He didn't get back to the line. The defense just ate up that one. Well, those defenders get paid, too. And every once in a while, they win the battle. Clearly, that time, they were all over this offensive line. Go Play action. Throws on the run. And they get him at about the 31. Good job locating the gap in the coverage on that play. You know, that's the kind of pass pattern I used to always love to run because if the defense 
is even a little bit lax in their coverage, it's pretty easy to get that one in there. He drops back. All kinds of pressure. Brings it in. He's pushed down at the 24-yard line. A good amount of yards that time on the pass. And running backs who are good receivers are pretty rare. You know, a lot of times those guys, they come out and they're good running the football, but they don't make the kind of plays in the passing game. This guy can clearly do both. With the pass, he catches another. He's finally dragged down, and now it will be first and goal. With that last catch, the wide receiver has logged his 100th yard of the game. Just a good, solid performance here by the receiver. This guy is plenty tough enough. I, I like the way that he gets in and out of his cuts, but I love his toughness. He's never intimidated out there. That was a nice pitch and catch by these two. That play is just so hard to stop down here on the goal line. All you have to do is get a little body position, quarterback zips it in there. These two guys are tremendous at that play. They come on the field to attempt the extra point. It's good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. He kicks it off. Jones fields it at the two. He's hammered at the 24-yard line. If the offense can air it out as effectively as they did on their last drive, it's going to be a long day for everyone on that defense. Dallas comes out in the shotgun. All right, here we go. He looks to throw on first down. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Owens wasn't able to bring it in. Incomplete pass on the play. The Cowboys come out with the offset eye. Back to throw. He throws on the run. What a brutal hit. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and finding the open man. As a receiver, when you go against a zone defense, it's much more about recognition and knowing where the holes in that zone defense are. That time the receiver executed perfectly and found the open spot. Pretty good gain right there. You have so many people on this offense that you have to account for. The tight ends, the wide receivers, the running backs, even the quarterbacks. And now they're throwing to the fullback. That's almost not fair. Comes down with it. He steps out right around the 48-yard line. Three-yard gain on the throw. Second and seven. Ball on the 49. Ace backfield this time. Looking to throw. Gets rid of the ball. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. That one worked just as they drew it up. Good pass, good catch. I agree. Sometimes there's really nothing you can do as a defense to stop a well-executed pass play. Drops back on first down. Throws the bullet to the right. He gets knocked out of bounds around the 26-yard line. Good yardage that time on the pass. And that was a little hum baby coming out of there from the quarterback. We've all heard about how strong his arm is, and we saw it there. They go with the run. And they get him right around the 20-yard line. That's 100 well-earned yards for the running back. Well-earned is right because he's had to fight for most of these yards out here today. No gain was easy. This is going to be one of those hot tub nights tonight. He's going to be a little sore. He's tackled at about the 17-yard line. A gain of three yards. Little linebacker blitzed on that one, and you could see that the quarterback just didn't see it in time to audible out of that play. And let's give credit to the defense. They won that battle. Great job to haul in that first down pass. This team is just so good at executing those short, quick passes and picking up first downs and keeping drives alive. He's going to be tackled for a loss. That safety just came flying in there to make the tackle. It is just so difficult for offensive lines to account for the safety. Typically, that's the one free runner that you have. And if you have a top-flight safety back there that can come in and make those kinds of plays, it really helps your run defense. They'll line it up again on third down. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. 
Romo drops back. Looking for an open man. Andy has been his go-to guy on the drive. Tackle around the one-yard line. Despite the great effort, it will still bring up fourth. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. And he scores. What a play. Well, there certainly was no mystery to that play. Just power offense against power defense, and the offense won the battle there. Big kick here. This will make it a three-point game. Kick is up. It's good. With less than four minutes to go in the fourth, the score, the Cardinals, 34, the Cowboys, 31. He gets his leg into this one. Still going. He's hammered at the 23-yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game was brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. The defense lines up in the nickel. James gets the call. What a hit. I don't think he even saw that guy. They get around five yards from the halfback. It's second and five here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Leinert steps to the line of scrimmage. Single set backfield this time. Little handoff. He fights forward to about the 30. James picks up two yards with the carry. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Play fake. James catches it. Interception. Brought down at the 38. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. Really a nice play on the ball that time. It's so much fun to watch these athletes in the secondary breaking so quickly and making these interceptions. Maybe got a couple of yards, but that's about it. That'll bring up second down. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 36. The Cowboys line up in an eye formation. He drops back. Passes it out. Pass completed. He's dropped around the 29-yard line. A pickup of about seven. Good play design there. Very solid protection. Gave the quarterback time to examine the whole field until he finally found the open man. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. Strong throw. Caught out of bounds, incomplete. He couldn't get two feet in on that one. Well, that's something receivers work on all the time, dragging that back toe, just unable to do it that time. And he got plenty of distance on this one. And it's good. And that was not an easy kick, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one, didn't it? Maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one. Gets a good kick here. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. With the throw, with the catch. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. And you won't see the coaching staff complaining about that. Yeah, coaching staffs generally don't complain about too much when they have a quarterback that has the leadership qualities and the arm strength and the ability that this guy has. To the 10. Into the end zone for a touchdown. 
They did just what they had to do, and now they have the lead. Well, that was such a big touchdown, obviously, and it also is going to take the field goal out of the equation as the other team tries to go back the other way. So they're ready for the extra point. And the point after is good. Arizona is up seven. Kicks it off. Austin fields it at the one. Brought down at the 29-yard line. This is obviously a big possession. They have to get the ball in the end zone right here. Well, this is it, their last opportunity. The one positive part of this for the offense, though, is that everything becomes four down territory. So typically on offense, you get three downs. Now you get four. They can't complete the pass. Now the offense will be looking at second down. They line up at the 29. Romo is back in the gun. Dumps it out right. Goes out of bounds at the 33. Third and six coming up. Romo lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. He's looking to throw. Passes to his right. He's dropped at about the 47-yard line. You just can't let him get the ball, can you? That reception put him over 100 yards. And this receiver just looks so confident catching the football. You know, if, if you really believe in your hands, it gives your eyes a chance to look away and try and make some runs after the catch. This guy knows he's going to make every catch and do it solidly. Romo adjusts the play at the line. Back to throw. Goes through his read. Now he's scrambling. Catch is made. Tackle at the 48-yard line. Nice pass for the quarterback on that one with the defense bearing down on him. Little seven-yard throws like that have really become the staple of the National Football League. So many defenses now not allowing the big throws down the field. You have to be willing to take throws just like that. He drops back to pass. Passes it. Brings this one in, and they get him at the 35. They line up at the 35. So they'll have one last shot here to possibly tie this game up. They'll need their prayer to be answered if they don't want to lose this. Makes the throw out to his right. Brought down at the 17, and it's the tailback with a big catch. And tailbacks love that. Anytime they can get into the open field, think about that position. You're constantly pounding the ball inside and getting hit by those big linebackers. Now you get out in open space and you have a chance to make a play. Outstanding play to the wide receiver as he took it the distance. Well, that's just a big time pitch and catch right there. The quarterback made a beautiful throw, but it was the route by the wide receiver that set it up. He was as open as I've seen all afternoon. And this point after will put us into overtime. He got it. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. Taken from the three-yard line. Still moving. Big hit there to bring him down. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. The kick is away. He's hammered at the 23-yard line. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Gives to the back. He's dropped around the 25-yard line. The delay gets maybe two yards. They line up at the 25. Arizona goes with the ace set here. 
again with the run. He's brought down right around the 26-yard line. James gets three yards on the play. From their own 27-yard line, they come out with three wide receivers. Looks to pass. Passes to his left. Defense pushes him out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. It's tough to pay too much attention to a running back in the passing game because at least half the time they're staying in the block. So when they do slip out, occasionally they can hit you for a big play. Leinert with the give. He lost yardage on the play. Looks for a seam, but he wasn't able to find anything. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. Sets up the play action. They get to it. That was a really nasty shot he just took. Ouch. I know that one hurt. And the worst part is that the guys in the offensive huddle are now just looking at their quarterback, seeing if he can call another play. And all the guys on the defense are watching that one on the big screen again. Picked off. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, Barbert lines up as the deep back. I formation. Dumps it out left. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Nice job of shutting down the first down pass. Yeah, it looked like that time the defense knew exactly what was coming. They were right there from the outset to make that play. Huge pressure by the defense. Brought down around the 26-yard line. The defense was right there for the stop on the play. Not much of a gain at all. Yeah, let's give a little credit to the coaching staff on that play. You, you talk all the time about film study and preparation and knowing what the other team is trying to do to you. That time, the defense was all over. And that will bring up a fourth down. Well, that's just a big run stop right there. You have a very proud defensive line that was just going to take control of that situation. Kicks it. Got plenty of distance. And it's wide of the mark. Now we'll see what those guys can do with the ball. This game has been absolutely crazy, hasn't it? Just back and forth all day long. I would have expected nothing less out of this one. Looks to pass. He throws left. Pass is complete. He's dropped at the 32-yard line. It's completed, but not a whole lot of yardage gained on the play. Yeah, this is a defense that just has too much speed for plays like that. You have to loosen them up some with some deep attempts for the short passes underneath the work. And they get him at the 35. A gain of three yards. And, Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but... By bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal game. Brought down right around the 50-yard line. You know, it's really easy to overlook those big guys in the line, but they did a good job picking up the blitz there. Yeah, that's a great call, Tom, because when you get a blitz package like that and your offensive line can, first of all, figure it out and then get a block, it's very tough to cover one-on-one -on -one in the secondary. Makes the catch. It's a fumble. Fitzgerald picks it up. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Arizona lines up in the offset eye this time. Arizona uses motion. Rifles it right. 
threw it right to him, but he can't hang on. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Give to the tailback. Brought down behind the line. Big time play by the defensive end. You know, listen, I would never want to block a defensive lineman. So, you know, I've seen these guys. I know these guys. They're big and they're nasty. But at least from an offensive standpoint, you have to try to get in their way. Great open field tackle. Still not quite enough, however. They'll still be facing fourth down. The snap, set down, the kick is up. Bounced off the upright, no good. They had a chance to win it there, but he couldn't get it to go. Oh, man, you just have to make those in overtime. <laughs> ah. When you get an opportunity with one play, with one swing of the leg to put a W in your column and you miss it, ah, oh, you just have to feel sick. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. High formation here. here Witten motioning to the left. He drops back to pass. Defense is getting pressure. Witten grabs it on the ground. They line up at the 33. The Cowboys come out showing three wide. He's looking to throw. Looks down the field, and he caught it. He's tackled at the 43-yard line, and that one will go for a first. And really top-notch quarterbacks know how to throw a football in there without leading his receiver into trouble. That was a great throw. Back to throw. Looks for a man open. Barry knocks it away. Creighton was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. They line up at the 43. Barber lines up as the single back. Drops back to pass. He's under a heavy rush. Oh, and they got him. That sack will give him five on the year. The offense faces another third down situation here as they line up from the gun. Robo hands off. Huge hit. Got a couple, but will still be short of the market. Yeah, and for a minute, it looked like he might slip out of there, but uh, the defense got there, the pursuit was all over it, and they made a nice stop. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He fields it at the 17. And they get him at the 31. That guy just showed off some pretty good skills on that return. I thought for sure he was taking that one back to the house. You know, anytime you get a guy with that kind of skill level in the open field with a little room to run, good things are going to happen. They line up in an eye. Go. Little handoff. Brought down right around the 32-yard line. A one-yard gain, and that will bring up second down. We've got second and nine here. Ball on the 33. They'll come out with three wide receivers. Drops back. Goes through his read. There for the reception. Tackled around the 45-yard line. And a great pass for the quarterback to convert for the first. And what we're seeing out of this quarterback is a variety of throws. Yes, he has the ability to zip it in there when he needs to, but we've also seen some touch throws, a very complete repertoire. Throws it short. And they get him at the 46-yard line. He went to the short man, but the defense was right there to make the play. Yeah, and this is one of those plays that's a lot like a long, extended handoff. He gets it out to the receiver and just lets him work on the outside. That time, though, unable to pick up much yardage. Hope was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. They line up at the 46. Liner is in the shotgun. He has three receivers split out wide. Back to pass. Throws to his left. Brought down around the 36-yard line. Great pickup for the first on that one. And really what makes NFL football so special is the ability of these quarterbacks to throw it and these great receivers to catch it. That's just fun to watch. Passes to his left. 
And he's out at the 38. They lose a couple there. I don't think they fooled anybody on the defense with that one. They were just sitting out there waiting for it, and that's a loss. James gets the ball left side. James fumbles it. Thomas recovered it. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39. Out of the eye formation. Nice play fake. Knocked away. And he just managed to get a piece of it. Nice play by the defenders. And as a receiver, you really have to do a better job of coming back to the football at that point. You have to help the quarterback. Drops back. He throws right. Out of bounds, incomplete. He caught that one out of bounds. Well, you can see the receiver doing all he could to keep his feet in bounds, but that pass just let him out of bounds. Back to pass. Rockets it out. Makes the reception. Tackle at the 49-yard line. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man coverage. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football, but you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. Maybe a yard or two there. That'll make it second down. He drops back to pass. Throws the bullet to the left. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. And a nice pick up there. Nice play that time. The defense came with the blitz there. He made a good read, delivered a nice ball in there to the open man. Short throw to the left. And he's out at about the 37-yard line. It's completed, but the defense appeared to be waiting for it. Not much there at all. That's part speed and part anticipation by this defensive unit. They're always in great position, and you'll rarely see them get burned on passes like that. Gives to the back. There's a flag on the play. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. Holding. Offense. That seemed like the right call there. Yeah, sometimes you have holding, and sometimes you have tackling. That looked more like a tackle. The Cowboys line up with an offset eye backfield. He's going for it all. Green gets his hand on it. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. Looks to pass. He rolls right. And it's caught. He's dropped in the open field. They complete the pass on third and long, but they'll end up short of the market. You can see the confidence level of this defense. They know they can make open field tackles, and that's probably one of the great lost arts in the game. The ability to make the tackle in the open field and stop them short of the first down. Good play defensively there. Setting up play action, looking for an open man. And he's out of bounds, incomplete. They complete the pass, but he was out of bounds when he brought it in. Yeah, that's a pretty safe throw there where only the receiver can make a play on the ball just a little too wide on that one. It's the tailback. He's dropped right around the 20-yard line. Just a yard there. That'll bring up third down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback is in the gun. Throws right. There for the catch. And he just got hammered. Good pickup by the receiver. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he wants the ball in his hands in big situations. The blitz caused some big problems for them that time. Yeah, that was definitely not a good play for the offense. I think they were anticipating a blitz to one side. They got it from the other side, and the quarterback ends up getting sacked on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. They line this one up in shotgun. Four wide receivers are split out in the formation. All kinds of pressure is there for the catch. Excellent open field tackle. And for as good of a catch as that was, this offense now has to deal with a fourth down. 
Newman is back deep to return the punt. Kicks it away, and it's a huge punt. The ball will go into the end zone for a touchback. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. He throws it. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. 